All right, do we have sound speeding? Great, let's do this. Action. Welcome to My Model Looks Better Than Your Model, a contest searching for America's hottest new fashion stylist. Okay, cut! Honey, why is your boom in my shot? Sorry! Hi, I'm Eva Pickford, and tonight we continue our search for America's next red carpet trendsetter as three more contestants compete for a spot in the next round. Let's do it again! For a spot in the next round. Is that better? Looking good. Each week, I'll assign the contestants a theme, a model, and send them to Century 21, New York's best kept secret. But they will have 45 minutes to choose, or as fashion stylists say, pull the items they best think represent their personal style. Okay, can somebody please give me the shot schedule? No one seems to be working around here. Okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more light over here, hon. All right, I'm gonna strike the 4K, okay? A little bit more. All right, thanks. So then the contestants will direct an on-location photo shoot. Cut! Well, what's, go what's going on? Have you still not found the schedule? And in the end, there will only be one. One winner. One person that I will tell. Baby, you got style. All right, everybody, give him a hand. He's wrapped for the day. You know what, director, we can shoot this. The competition will be fierce. So let's see who's got style. Hi, my name is Damon Edmonds. I am from Lexington, Kentucky. I reside now in Brooklyn, New York, and I have moved to New York to pursue fashion. What up, everybody? My name is Jareem. Well, originally, I'm a son of Harlem. You know, I used to um, kick crack rocks, crack vibes to school every day down the street like it was stone. Um, my name is Jessica. I am from Staten Island. I, I reconstruct vintage clothes. That's actually where it's at right now. Um, I started as a child loving, loving fashion, um, from going to school, dressing up. I've, I've styled before though. I worked with Tommy Hilfiger as an in-house an in stylist, and I worked at a, mag at a fashion magazine, Flaunt, um, for two years. I was originally born into this, like, you know, just coming up from a place where nobody had anything, and everybody had to have something. You know, I saw, like, in the 80s, I saw all the wild, you know, drug dealers, everybody was getting money, gold chains, kangos, just being fresh to death. And I used to look up to that and I used to want that. So it's kind of like I'm being the man that I always wanted to be as a kid. There's kind of jewelry and clothing. And actually, this is one of the pieces that I made myself. It was like a size 12 and like down to the ground. And I actually shortened it and took it in a lot. And so here it is. I think this competition is an excellent thing for stylists. Um, I think I'm going to win a competition because I think outside the box. I think what makes me a, such a good stylist is um, doing it with a twist. Um, I'm extremely competitive and I'm very headstrong about certain things, certain views that I have I feel very wholeheartedly about and I tend to stick to them, which, you know, some would call me stubborn, some would call me hard-headed, call me what you will, but I'm here to win and this is a competition and we're adults. The phrase that I would use to define my style is Super sexy. Oh, I'm thinking extraterrestrial. Like I'm about to move to Mars in a couple of months. I gotta leave something. So y'all should come and get me. I feel like the competition that I'm against is um, it's tough. I, I think we have some good competitors. I do feel like that I'm a stronger um, force. What else do I want to say to the world? Um, I don't know. Believe in me. And one day this person is gonna be somebody amazing. And you see me holler at your boy. So just believe in me. I'll be back. Oh, we have our challenge letter from Eva. It's time to begin your challenge. Your challenge is to style and art direct a photo shoot that portrays the theme, Earth the Kids Catwoman Caught in an Urban Jungle. Let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> in 1967, Earth the Kid took over the role of Catwoman on the popular Batman TV series. Miss Kit gave Catwoman her sexiest and most distinctive voice to date. She brought a high society regalness to the role and distinguished Catwoman from the other top villains. She completely redefined the role and is arguably the most popular TV Catwoman with fans. 
Use your imagination and your personal vision of style to show us what that means to you. Keep it fresh and modern. You don't have much time. I hope you can get into it. Good luck. We're here at Century 21, New York's best kept secret. I'm obsessed with shopping in this place because here I find fabulous designer fashions, 25 to 75% of retail prices. I'm Bevy Smith, and I'm the contestant style gym maven. I'm here to help them as they make their selections for the photo shoot. As a matter of fact, they're all upstairs waiting for me. So let's go see what they're up to. Hello, contestants. Hey, Hello. What's going on? So happy to see you guys. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> As you know, this is a contest, and you will have 45 minutes to make it all happen. You will be allowed to pull five items plus three accessories. Everything that you pull for your photo shoot must come from Century 21. That includes your clothes, your shoes, and your accessories. As you know, this week's theme is Eartha Kitt's Catwoman caught in an urban jungle. Yes. Okay? Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Caught up. <laughs> so what I need you guys to do is to bring your creative A game. I need you to remember that your style icon's in the making. So I really want you to visualize and to really bring both elements of the shoot together. Eartha Kid caught in the jungle. That means super sexy. Urban jungle, like I'm thinking like a ninja. You know, slashing through these city streets. I'm gonna go with something sexy. I'm hoping they sell leotards here. That's what I'm going with. Fishnets, something short, sexy, definitely sexy. But Eartha Kid, I'm definitely gonna do something tight and fabulous and leather. We're gonna go all white this time. Keep it all crispy, you know? The theme is, I don't remember. I think of a lion, I think of um, something that is like wild, like a beast. Eartha Kid was a hot girl for a long time, so we definitely gotta make sure we keep it up to par. This? Oh, well, I'm planning to win this, actually. Yes, I'm gonna win this. They have nothing on me when it comes to style. I've already sized them up. I'm up for a good challenge, anytime, anywhere, any day, so let's do it. All right, good luck, guys. Good luck. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. I'm getting ready to whip their but I have to find the key piece. I have to find the key piece. What about something like that? Could see her crawling through a field in one of these numbers. Man, basically, I'm looking for anything white right now because we about to be a white ninja caught in the urban jungle. What? What is the key piece? What do you have, my dear? Well, I'm pulling together all white look. All know, white? All white. I'll okay. keep it icy white in the jungle. Like a white icy ninja. Icy white in the jungle. Definitely. Now, jungle. White, well, give uh, me, give me the moment. Well, you know, like, um, when you think about cat, when you think about all black. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. But this time, it's 2006, we're in the urban jungle this time, <laughs> and we're slashing through these city streets, and there's a winter time, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do it all white. I'm thinking because of the floral plant that this is more of the, um, the urban jungle, kind of. Um, but I think now that we have a, the, the truest sense of the urban jungle, mm -hmm. I think that, you know, this kind of doesn't really play right, into, into it. That, right. right. Now, I wanted to do something a little casual as well, and I thought that this jacket would be great. Okay. But now I'm up in the air with pants. So when you think of urban, uh -huh. what colors do you feel? What's the palette when you think of urban? Yes, let me think about that. Mm -hmm. Eartha Kid, urban jungle, what's going on with this? Because this is really a white tee. Right. I mean, it's a really expensive, lovely, pika cotton white tee. Definitely. Oh, this is fabulous. Isn't that not fabulous? Oh my gosh, this Every is so girl sexy. needs one of those in her closet. It's Eartha Kit and that is a suit that's sexy white pants. And also being in the urban jungle, sometimes you gotta wear that dress coat. Even so I'm gonna like scrunch this up on the model and put some fur around the cuffs. So it'll be very cat like. Right? Very See, I would trip on these in the urban jungle if I, was, if I had these on. Because I'm running through the jungle, I'm trying to get away from the hunters. <laughs> You've delivered urban jungle. Now there it is. There we go. I really want you to really think sexy, 
I'm seeing a lot of really nice pieces, but I'm not seeing anything that kind of jumps out at me and says you've nailed the competition. So baby, what you I would say to you is to use this you moment I'm going. and build around I'm this going. I'm your This is your whole thing. That's my Toss keep everything to the side. Exactly. You keep this, <laughs> Perfect. okay? Thank you. I'm excited <laughs> for you. Thank you. I got her approval, so I'm, I'm golden. I am golden. You have killed it. You think so? You're in the urban jungle, and you've killed it. You've slain them. You are the hunter. Um, I'm not seeing this, the strength of what I really think that you can bring. As a matter of fact, what you have on now is very urban jungle. Thank Eartha Kid. She's a very affluent, she's sexy, and she's a grown woman. As a grown woman, I don't, I rarely ever wear cotton. For sure. Okay? Definitely. So Thank pull you, it together, the cuteness. Got it. I know you can do it. Already. Because you got the look. Well, I love your mind. I love the fact that you're very creative. You know, you twisted this and you worked this in your head. I love the hair. And that's all I love. The shopping is done, and now we're here at our photo shoot location. This week's theme is Eartha Kids Catwoman caught in an urban jungle. So what better place to shoot than in Harlem at a playground? Now let's meet the My Model Glam team. We have celebrity hairstylist Hadia Barbell and celebrity makeup artist D'Angelo Thompson and Aisha Ferguson. These guys are the best in the business, but the entire photo shoot feel, look, and vision will be totally up to our contestants. They must really bring this thing to life. Now let's meet their models. Hey, Damon. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm D'Angelo. Nice to meet you. Aisha. Nice to meet you, Aisha. Hair <laughs> Maven. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> so tell us what you want today. OK, so I'm thinking that I'd like to go with a strong eyeliner, mm -hmm. extended out very cat-like, mm -hmm. and then um, extending the eyebrow out a little bit as well. Um, a little bit of white on the inside mm, to okay. really give a little emphasis on the inner part of the eye. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then a very dewy gold cheek mm -hmm. and a very matte lip. So Lashes. Matte. Okay. We can do a lash. I think okay. a lash would be good. Yeah, just the top. Just the top. Um, and then we can just do mascara on the bottom. Okay. Um, and then maybe we could do a little bit stronger lip. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. No Thank problem. You. No problem. <laughs> and what do you have in mind for her hair? For the hair, since she has long, beautiful hair, I was hoping that it would be possible to do a shift back, just very pulled back, um, lots of volume in the top, um, lots of volume in the back, and then just giving her just down almost to cover her breast because she's very exposed. So we have the very gold cheeks. Uh -huh. We're going to do a defined brow to kind of meet the liner. Exactly. And then we're going to go white right here mm -hmm. to make them pop a little bit with top lashes. And a strong natural lip. Yep. Okay, I'm excited. I've done what she needs, what I need to do. She looks great. She has the attitude, which that's what I'm supposed to do as a stylist is project, give her the attitude through the clothes, and she definitely has that. I want her to give um, an animalistic approach to it. I want her to be um, almost as if she's inhuman. Um, I'm going for a very animalistic, um, almost inhuman, very tiger-like. I can pull it off. Okay. Pull it off for you. Are you ready? Yep. All right. <laughs> ready? Ready? Yep. Right, give me that give me strong eyes. Yes. But you want to really go dark. So. Perfect. Perfect. Can you almost do as if you're falling off of here? I need Good. Now all of these are full bodies. You come back, yeah. Awesome. 
me when you want me to. Okay. Now tell me when you want me really low. Which is perfect. Jessica, what are we doing today with her makeup? Makeup, what I was thinking was um, a very polished look, dark eyes, and very extended ends of the eyelashes. Um, and then I wanted to do actually a red gloss in one of the, the looks. Um, one of the pieces that I have is this big black fur coat. I wanted to put her in some tights and some chunky heels. And with that, I just kind of wanted a background, like I wanted her back, or I wanted more of a beauty shot, more of her face. Well, she already has a really, really nice lip. Let's get rid of the gloss, so just okay. make that suggestion, okay. and do a matte red lip. Okay. Okay. Now your lashes. You want lashes just on the tips, at the top or at the bottom? At the top. Just at the top. Yeah. To kind of come out. Mm -hmm. Long. Long. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With a really dark eye or just a really dark lid? A dark eye. I was looking for a shadow. A shadow. Yeah, dramatic okay. eyes. As well as liner. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I see the Eartha Kid and Catwoman in the whole look, but I don't see Urban Jungle at all. Right. So I'm thinking that maybe we should consider teasing out the hair really big. Okay. Or, you know, whether it's up or whether it's to the side, it should definitely include texture. Okay. Jessica, thank you. Thank you. My, my girl's an animal, she's a warrior, she's mad, and she's animalistic, and that's what I want emulated in these pictures. I want her, you know, pissed, and I want her, you know, she's angry and she's storming somewhere, and she's on a mission, and she has to be somewhere, and that's what I wanted, and that's the look that I have for this. Today, I actually wanted to go with a few different looks. So I wanted her sitting there, kind of giving attitude, smoking a cigarette with her leg up, and I was also hoping I could get maybe something over here with her almost barred. She's an animal, she's caged. But I'm going with she's an angry, warrior that just got released. So that's the character that she's playing right now. She has a lot of attitude. Yeah, we're going for sex kit. This is the sex kitten part. We want attitude. Honey, yes, yes, you work it, right. Yeah, there you go, you can. Yes, yes, like that. Silas, your mother is too static. I need more movement. I need. Alright, so honey, you I can just do what I need. Yes, yeah, um, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh, could you fall for me? You're mad, you're mad. See, it's a risky stopping, it's a risky stopping. Come on, I want you like this. I want you pissed. And if you could take the shot from maybe up here and coming up, like that. Honey, you're crawling to him. It's Madonna's music video, you're crawling. All right, I want you crawling. And you're, you're mad, and you're looking for a shoe and you're underneath this guy's bed, and you just can't find it because you have to go. That's the attitude that you have. I want you a little closer and I want you a little rougher. You're mad. And I want you to crawl. You're mad. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's I it. That's like it, that. it. Yes, yes. Grab the bars. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like yes. that. I like that. Yeah, you're cheap. You're cheap. Oh, yeah. Oh, you go, baby. You're doing awesome. Awesome. Yes, that's it, that's the cat that you are, come on. Today, I'm gonna transform beautiful Jerrica into an actual cat. That's what we're gonna do. And But I wanna show her actually being trapped in the urban jungle. So it's like, she's either, she's being caught. She's either being caught by the coppers or the bad guys, whatever. Her spot is getting blown up. Okay. So um, in that, her whole look is gonna be Animated but very real. So I want her body to be painted like a cat. Like her chest, her face, her hair pulled back. But I want to keep it very Eartha Kid. Like hair slicked back, 
very sheen, makeup. silky. We always do the hair mm -hmm. thing first. Makeup, I'm thinking, okay, well, <laughs> makeup. Let's break it down. What, what it, let's start with the eyes. Okay, the, the eyes, you can either go like, either a black mask or a white mask. Okay. Let's like see how we're, mask. Yeah, the paint on mask. mask. Like, we can look at the outfit and see how it works and then figure out whether we want to go black or white. Yeah. Have it match with the mouth and then the face. Oh, black lip? Either black or white lip to go with like the eyes. Like right, definitely. Okay. Maybe like some um, some whiskers or freckles on the face <laughs> and some um, like leopard print on the neck, <laughs> the chest, and on the hands and arms. Okay, recapping. We're gonna do a black mask, painted on mask, a black lip, a scratch on the chest. We're gonna let go of the whiskers. Yeah, yeah, let go of the whiskers. Okay. too much. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna be um, very seductive. Catwoman is caught. She's trapped, so we're gonna tie her up. And she's fighting to get out. Give me some more of your body in the front here. Let me see that. Let me hear you yell, boy. Let's catch it. Yeah, yeah, draw. That's a good idea. Let me get that sound. I'm like, I want you to like, I want you to give me like Betty Boop, like, you want to get caught. You got caught, like, oop, like paparazzi caught you out there, you know what I'm saying? Check him on me. see him next. It looks like her hair got caught up in a fence. Because I don't know how many people she's going to be able to fight and jump from building to building with that big bun on the side of her head. Hi, contestants. Hello. Well, this week your theme was Eartha Kitt's Catwoman Caught in an Urban Jungle. But before we go into your photo shoots, I want to introduce you to my fabulous judges. First, we have Ezekiel De La Rosa, noted fashion photographer. Hi, guys. Daphne DeValle, fashion editor for Trace Magazine. Hey, hey, hey. And this week's guest judge is Rari Vice, who's the man to blame for Alicia Keys' makeover. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Wonderful, so we're gonna jump right into it. Eartha Kitt's Catwoman, caught in an urban jungle. Damon, yes. So Damon, when you were presented with the theme in my challenge letter, what was your first mind? What, what were you thinking about when you thought of Eartha Kitt's Catwoman? Well, um, Eartha Kitt being a fabulous woman to pull inspiration from was I was very excited to have that. Um, and then the whole theme of her caught in an urban jungle, my mind just immediately started to just think of nature and, and sexiness, and it really was a great inspiration to pull from. Okay. And what did you pull? What was your theme? Um, instructor, they wanted a animalistic 
characteristics for the model's makeup. And for the clothing, I just really went into um, natural skin, leather. Um, that's the first thing that I went dashing for. First and foremost, I loved your photo. Right. I thought your photo was amazing. The first thing that drew me was definitely your hair and makeup. There's something about beauty that I absolutely love. So I go into the hair and makeup, which incorporates into your, your styling, which I think you did a really good job at. Great, thank you. What are you thinking over there? It's not sensual enough. The I like the boots. I don't like the hair and makeup. That's why I had to clear my eyes to see if I... It looks like her hair got caught up in a fence. Uh, the hair and makeup is just not right. It's so wrong. The white over here, it's just, it doesn't do a thing for me. And looking at some of the film, this, they, this was actually a good pick. It was. Because let me tell you, it looks so wrong, so bulky. It just had nothing to do with her kit. There was no in the, in, in the style. I did not think the photo was that bad. However, um, the hair and the makeup for me didn't quite make it. And I think the styling was a little bit too safe. A cat woman is like, you know, Eartha Kitt, as a cat woman, she was like feisty and like coy. And it seems like you played it safe because all the colors are really matchy matchy. They're all the same. Um, the most I think you pushed it might have been the fur and the gloves, which I think are kind of out of place. But it's not, it's not a bad job. I won't say that it's a bad job. Just a few corrections. Rory! <laughs> I'm actually in shock because nothing about this picture says Catwoman. Nothing says Eartha Kitt. I get Urban with the tights and the boots. The hair was totally wrong, but... The closest thing somebody. to a cat was with the fur and the vest, and that was about it. It, it doesn't show me any type of sexual energy that Eartha Kitt possessed. She was very, very sexual, very slinky, very fitted. I don't see that at all. The hair looks like she's already been through the jungle, maybe got in a fight with a couple yeah. of animals on her way yeah. out. The hair was wrong. This, like I said, this, the way that she's situated is fine. It's just looking at the overall looks of the pictures. Um, it just, it was more bulky than, than sexy to me. Um, so what I would say to you is just really study up, I mean, and, and do your homework. I mean, I know you didn't have a lot of chance, but your homework is to know, you know. I disagree. I think the photo is sexy. I think, I mean, just starting from just the eyes alone, the feline-like eyes. That's very Eartha Kitt. That's very Catwoman. It's very jungle. It's very animalistic. I, th I love the makeup. I th think he accentuated the eyes and gave you sex in the face by itself. Uh, you, can, you can't knock him and say it's not sexy. That's, that's, I mean... There's uh, a different element of sexy. I think he more so captured urban sexy yeah. than Eartha Kitt Catwoman sexy. To me, I mean, I think, like you said, research is very key, and as a stylist, there are options that you should be able to present. So if there's Eartha Kitt as Catwoman or Eartha Kitt as a sultry songstress, you can embody those things and take time to break it up and make it your own. I think that was, with that as your interpretation, I mean, that, that's how it came out, but I think you could have looked a little bit deeper into other photos or maybe gotten a little bit more research. And I think when you photograph the leather and the fur, that made it heavy and it took away the sleekness of what is probably underneath that. So has she been sitting in maybe a leather cat suit or something that was a little more slinky or fitted, you might have got a different silhouette out of that picture. Well, I want to let you guys know what Bevy had to say about this gentleman. Damon was extremely professional. Actually, the entire set was professional. I understand you guys are our most professional bunch thus far. Kudos. But he was extremely professional. He knew exactly what he wanted more than anyone, he knew precisely what he wanted. When he went to the hair and makeup, he told them from the cheek to the crease exactly what he wanted. And I have to give you kudos on that. It might not have been the right choice from some of the judges, but the fact that you knew exactly what you wanted, you had somewhere to go, you knew where you were going, which saves a lot of time, and that's a beautiful thing. But with knowing what you want, sometimes you kind of close the box for other ideas. So you gotta kinda keep that in mind, but nevertheless, he's extremely professional. So you're gonna move on to you, beautiful Jessica. So Jessica, um, when you were presented with the theme, Eartha Kitt, Catwoman, 
caught in an urban jungle. What were you thinking? What, what will started turning in your head? Sex. I wanted to sell sex in this um, shoot. So um, I pulled a lot of furs. I actually, um, I pulled a lame skirt and I used that as a dress. And uh, that's what I wanted. I wanted very short, I wanted fur. And that's what I went with in this one. So what did you instruct your hair and makeup to do? Because it's very important. It's funny, I actually, the look that I had in mind was for hair, I wanted it kind of slicked back in a braid, a very long braid, to give her that Catwoman kind of feel. And talking to the glam squad, they kind of said no, they wanted a little bit more texture, a little bit more bouffante. And I was totally open to that, and I thought it was great. And with the eyes, with the makeup, I actually wanted heavy eyes, and they extended her the ends of her lashes. That's oh, what I cool. wanted, and red lips. That's well, your hair is banging, to great. say the least. I mean, that hair is... Tina Turner. It's, it's everything. It, that makes that photo for me. The hair, it just, it, it works. I'm glad you didn't go with what you were gonna go I with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love your photo. I love your background. You usually, you really, really use that jungle gym. And I love the fact that you saw the set, knew what you wanted, and something came out of it. That, that's hot. How are you feeling over there, Mr. Rari? I definitely think that she embodied each aspect of the words that are in the title. She's caught in an urban jungle, jungle gem. <laughs> she's looking like Eartha Kitt, like she looks like she's about to pounce as a cat woman. Um, Eartha Kitt is very much known for her mid-ear coif, like it's always in that, that neighborhood. And I think that the haircut really made that stand out. She looks like she's really about to hop on somebody. And it's sexy at the same time with the obstruction of the legs. Like you can see her legs and it's just really sexy. I like her. Aww. I love your choice of hair. And it's you had a really good model who really worked it. And especially for Trace, a lot of times it's about pushing it to the limit. And I think you stuck with the theme, but at the same time morphed the idea into something modern and made it your own which is really important for, especially editorial, because they look to the editorial for us to give, people look to the editorials to give them ideas about how to be fashion forward and not so much to look back. However, I think it's important, while at this time it works, it's important that when you have a vision of a concept in your mind, while it's good to work with the glam squad, it's not such a good idea to have them direct. Well. I have to say that, Daphne, I disagree with you in the sense that, you know, just like a little girl, that sexy thing that you wanted to convey, you did it. And you were really shocking to me because of the fact that looking over your film, there was just not one shot. Exactly. There were a lot of shots. Your other outfit was excellent. Um, the fact that you allowed yourself to hear what other people had to say was excellent. Because I believe with knowing the poses and seeing the poses that the girl had and the direction, because you're responsible for the direction of the pose, the location, everything. And you know what? It was on the money. And I got so happy because you know what? I don't like wearing my glasses 24 seven. They're really comfortable, but I don't like wearing them. You know, I like, giving people the eye. Um, so I have to say that I am so happy to see the direction that you took it on. To me, it's Eartha Kitt, it's hip, it's modern, and it's sexy, and you got your point across. To you, Mr. Jareen. So, Jareen, when you were presented with the theme, what went through your head? What, what, what did you want to do? Well, the first thing I wanted to do, I wanted to embody sexy and then still keep a superhero aspect and then bring Eartha Kitt as the focus of the entire show. So in that, um, I wanted to make sure everything was sleek and sexy, like hair pulled back, um, put a leopard um, peacoat on her, um, lace, patent leather boots, real simplistic look, but I wanted her to appear to be trying to break free from some type of bondage being caught in an urban jungle. So I made sure that I had the model project at the camera and I had her tied up and trying to break free. Well, I love your mind. I love the fact that you're very creative. You know, you twisted this and you worked this in your head. I love the hair, and that's all I love. 
I love your creative direction with the makeup and the leopard printed down her neck. However, when it comes to the styling and the hair, I'm thrown off about it. Because I don't know how many people she's going to be able to fight and jump from building to building with that big bun on the side of her head. And with the leopard print jacket and the, the things like that, I think it was too bulky. I know what, I understand what direction you were going in and you described it very well, yeah. but this is too, it's too bulky, it's too literal. And that's actually a piece of advice I have for all of you. When you described this picture to me, it made sense. Yes. But you have to learn how to translate that into the picture so that when people look at it, it makes sense. Um, it's slightly costumish. And you have to be careful because there's a difference between costuming and fashion. And like she said, when you're translating to move fashion forward, something that you would see on Broadway may not be fashion forward. Yes. That might work for a show or a movie or something of that sort. But in actuality, we're looking to set trends for people on the street. No one's actually gonna dress like that. Her clothes, like I said, you have to fit things to her. Um, when you describe the superhero feeling, I think that Humongous Bun is superhero. However, her makeup, it just doesn't read well in this picture. Well, Daphne, don't let it ruin your Maybelline because the makeup, I think, is atrocious. Um, I just, first of all, I would have had them wipe the makeup off because you probably wanted a mask and that just looks dirty. As far as your element of different textures and things like that, it's not photographically, as a photographer, you know, you have all this white on the bottom. First of all, I don't believe that it's Eartha Kit. And then just the bounce that I'm gonna get off, it loses all the texture. It doesn't look rich, uh, the fabric. I would have preferred to see it in black on the bottom, like something a little bit more tapered, um, as opposed to like, it looked like, a, like something you wear to bed. It, it didn't look rich. And then you have this big bulky coat that basically it, it was too overwhelming. I mean, it's okay, the model was big, uh, uh, small, but the coat was big. So it was overwhelming on her. So it looked more like a quilt. There is a distinction from cheesy slash or versus avant-garde. You know what I mean? And there's a way to make a fabric that doesn't necessarily look that good in person look amazing on stage or amazing on film. And there is a way to make a jacket, like you said, that does not necessarily look good in person look good on film. And I think where you messed up is that all the pieces that you have presented, besides from the hair in my opinion, they didn't photograph. With the coat, if she had more body, it would really the, the, a few speckles on the chest and a few on the face well, what I really do bring it out. What I appreciate is the fact you brought that idea to them and they told you no. And you said okay. Because I think had you done that, it would have been even more atrocious. Like I said, I think you had one of the most intricate ideas here. You definitely had it laid out what you wanted. That superhero thing, neither of them even said that. And Catwoman was a superhero. I mean, it was, that was absolutely amazing. You know what you want. You have an amazing mind. That's something, once again, that cannot be taught. Thank you. Something you can't learn, you can't read it, and FIT can't give it to you. So guys, you've heard our thoughts on your photo shoot. Now it's time for us to deliberate. And when you come back, I will determine which one of you's got style. Thank you. Au revoir. Guys, we have to deliberate. So we're gonna go ahead and judge um, Damon, Jessica, and Darren's photos again. You know, I wanna start with you. I just, I just feel like starting with you. Well, baby, I guess you guys all know where I stand because I'm very blunt about what But what I do you do. think about Damon's photo? I don't like it. I uh, would be in mourning, but that's, that's my thing. Uh, I would have to wear my glasses. I disagree. I don't think that the the, 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 the the shot is a travesty. I, I mean, it didn't completely nail it, but it's not a bad shot. Yeah, but would you see it in Vogue? Would you see it in Harper's? Would you see it in W? But we're not talking about Vogue or Harper's. We're talking about Trace. He didn't fulfill the task at hand, point blank. I mean, if he would have changed certain things like we discussed head on, then he would have been better off. 
but um, I think he embodies style inside of himself. I agree. He's just got to embody being a stylist. Right. So once he gets that down packed, he'll be fine. But this particular photo not is so not, not okay. what you want to see. So what do we think about Jessica? I like her. I think she's great. I love Jessica. I like her a lot. Oh, she's wow. made me take my glasses, glasses off. off. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put them in my pocket right now. And, the glasses and hopefully you guys pocket. won't make me Put them back on. It's not us, it's the photos. Well, like I said, I think Jessica was amazing. I think her entire package is what nailed it. Yeah. From the top of the jungle gym to see the ge geometry on top of like everything. I would say Jessica's the only one who stretched it beyond just jungle. And she took it to urban jungle and she took it to a different place. She took the concept to a creative place that would make a whole spread. I think that all of them were creative. I think Jareem was one of the most creative, to be completely honest. I don't think that it worked. I don't think it transferred, but I don't think that she was actually safe. But it just happened um, to work. She might have been safe, but she was very creative. You gotta understand something. She knew how to give direction. She knew her model was stiff. She knew how to break the model out of stiffness. She knew how to listen to somebody when they said, no, this hair is gonna be perfect for this girl. So she was also open-minded, okay? And quite honestly, the picture is, is good. As far as uh, Jareen, I like his personal personality. I think that he's willing to work. He took the, the criticism in a good way, you know, and he's an optimistic person. Like he says, you know what, it ain't the last, um, it ain't the first. And that shows me that he's willing to work at his craft and he's willing to get better. So you know what, I would say that watch out for him because exactly. he's really studying and I think he will take the criticism and work it uh, to his advantage. I think what I see with him is natural desire and passion for this. And that's what I love. You'll see women that are cute and they could model but they're not the best models. Get the one that wants and eats and breathes modeling. That will be a fierce model. He wants, eats, and breathes his styling. He really does from the way he's put together. His coat is reversible. Like, honestly, he's not a little guy. It's I mean, he's fly. I just don't think it really transferred, but I think he has Dallas in him. Creativity in his mind, though, is, is mind-blowing. It's it really is. good. And I think that once he gets a grasp on those resources and he can get his hands on it and really go for it, he could be a force to be reckoned with. Because if you're thinking above and beyond like that, exactly, it's no stopping me. I love Jareen's creativity again with the makeup. I think it could have been bolder, but I love where he was going. It was original. It was different. I could definitely see it in an editorial spread. And then people on the streets suddenly with a lot of heavy eye makeup, wearing masks. Like I said, I, I like his creativity. However, there is a need to understand what looks good on camera and what doesn't. I reiterate that, I can reiterate it enough. There are shoes that are hideous in person. Put it on camera and it's like, even if it actually works, you know what I mean? And some stuff you can get and it looks really rich in person, you put it on camera and it's just flat. And that's, that's the biggest tip for him, is to understand what transfers and what doesn't. Well guys, I, um, I think we've made our decision. Yes we yeah. have. So guys, the judges and I have deliberated, but before we announce tonight's winner, I want to recap your photo shoots. Starting with you, Damon. I loved your photo. We have some that don't necessarily like your boots, but I disagree. I think it's hot. I think you can still tell that she's a skinny girl. She doesn't look overlayered to me. I think that your mind is in a very beautiful place, in a space that even though this doesn't work, you have a really good future ahead of yourself. Because it takes a mind. Sometimes you just don't nail it. I haven't nailed every one of my photo shoots. Can you believe that? But nevertheless, I think you executed what you wanted, which was important. You knew exactly what you wanted, and you gave us that. And that's great. Jessica, I think the photo speaks for itself. The photo, it's absolutely amazing. I love the hair. I love, I love it all. I think that your model's thighs could look a little bit better had she just been moving up just a little bit. You know, it's a difference between 
when you're doing something and you're sitting, your legs smash. You have to come up just a little bit and it makes your body look good. So you as a stylist need to be aware of what models need to do to accentuate your clothes. Doreen, your creativity is absolutely mind-blowing and I'm taking the words out of Wari's mouth. They're absolutely mind-blowing. Your head and your mind, where you're at, is not of this world, it's not of today, which is amazing. You are a trendsetter and you definitely will take the fashion industry to another level. So, the judges and I have deliberated and we've decided that this week, Jessica, you've got style. You are a final contestant to move into our semifinals round, which begins next week. Thank you guys. I'm really excited. It's crazy, you know? Um, but it's great. It's great being an artist and having other people see that and they appreciate that. There's a lot that goes into it and there's a lot of judgment that goes into it as well. I think, I think this show will help um, other people to see that styling is an art form. It's funny, I've come across people that find fashion to almost just be, you know, careless and by accident and not really something that's taken seriously. Um, my name is Jessica and I've got style.